Hi friends! Welcome to my first video. Today we're just going to draw a little bit together and visit the aquarium. So grab some snacks and your paint and sketchbook and let's get to it! So we recently went and visited Monterey, and while we were there we got to go to the aquarium, which if you've never been, is absolutely gorgeous. I really love it there. It's one of my favorite places on this green earth. So I really wanted to do a little painting inspired by it. So today I'm going to be drawing a little otter, because I really love otters, and the kelp exhibit in the aquarium is my favorite thing in the world. I love to stare at it. I could stare at it all day long. I'm really rusty when it comes to painting and drawing. I haven't done it in a long time. Um, so I made a lot of mistakes, but it felt really good to be sketching on real paper and not on my iPad. I think ever since I've got my iPad a couple years ago, I've been relying on it a little bit too much. So being able to just hold a pencil and draw on paper felt really refreshing and really nice. I'm a really sketchy artist, uh, and sometimes I go a little bit too fast without thinking, so I rarely erase my pencil lines or really think more than um, what I'm doing, so I don't, I don't really think steps ahead, I kind of just go for it, which sometimes works in my favor, but sometimes not. I think it's nice to just kind of let the paint do whatever it's going to do sometimes and just enjoy the journey. I really love the flowiness of kelp. I think it's really playful.
I took a chance here with something, and I don't think it really worked, but it was fun to try. Um, I think I should have planned this out more. This is kind of where my just go for it attitude kind of um, worked against me. <laughs> but that's okay, because trying something is always brave, and you learn from your mistakes. And overall, I'm not unhappy with how the painting came out, but I think I, it was a good reminder that I need to slow down and think about things sometimes. So the painting part is pretty much finished and we're gonna let it dry. So while we wait, let's go to the aquarium. Enjoy our little montage of jellies, fishies, and burbs. Before we go to the aquarium, we always gotta get our snacks.
I hope you enjoyed our little montage. We had a lot of fun making it and we're definitely going to come back one day because we just love it there so much. It's a small aquarium, but definitely quality over quantity. Now that the painting's all dry, I still wasn't quite sure how I was feeling about it, so I consulted an expert. <laughs> she gave me a few pointers and made a few adjustments, and I think it made the painting look much better. I've really learned a lot from her, so I'm grateful that she's been tutoring me. I added some detailing and some coloring with my Prismacolor pencils. I'm still figuring out my style and how balanced I want it to be between pencil and paint, but I think for this painting it's good to call it done and we can move on to the next thing. If you keep nitpicking at the same thing over and over, it can really take away from your growth because you're just sort of stuck in one thing. And considering how long it's been since I've painted, I'm pretty proud of myself. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you next time.